guys are coming up to the stage. Uh, big round of applause for Mr. Aaron Black. Yeah. All right, thank you. It's another hand for Nikki. Yeah. The only 45-year-old you could possibly mistake for Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about airplanes. Uh, I was on an airplane recently, and uh, uh, there was turbulence. Turbulence sucks. You start thinking about your life and all the things you never got to accomplish. <laughs> like some guys, like I never told Jenny that I loved her. Some other guys, like I never pursued my dream as a professional musician. And I'm sitting next to that guy, like oh, I have so much porn on my computer. <laughs> I didn't even clear my history. <laughs> if this plane goes down, mom and dad are in for a rude awakening. We're gonna find out I'm in the midgets and shit. <laughs> Flying at the people you sit next to. I always sit next to the crazy Christian. Uh, and let me tell you, as a Jew, oh boy, I've been like the prospect of hearing about Jesus for five hours and how you murdered him. A lot of Jews get really defensive about that. They're like, we didn't kill Jesus. I'm just like, eh. He had to go. <laughs> he had to go. He was grabbing my style. <laughs> oh my god, I'm single. I'm a single dude. Been single for a while. You know you've been single for too long when buying condoms has become less about being safe and more about just remaining an optimistic person? <laughs> just wishful thinking? You know? And, uh... I don't know. Here's the thing about my set that I, I should have started out with this. I do a lot of jokes about like porn and masturbation and stuff like that. And I just want you guys to know uh, I'm not happy about it either. <laughs> you know, anytime I tell a joke about jerking off, there's no ego there. <laughs> I'm not like, oh, I'm going to get him with this one. <laughs> you know? I would love to be up here telling you jokes about my kooky toaster, you know, and I can't get it on the right setting. <laughs> but if I earnestly tried to make a joke, sit down and write a joke about a toaster, there's just no way the punchline would end with me coming inside of it. <laughs> like, that's how that joke ends, I don't know. <laughs> And I'm not, you know, because I'm single, back to the single part. Um, I'm not exactly what you call a, a stallion in a sack. This whole set's like, don't fuck me. I'm not, you know, I can't talk, I can't talk dirty, right? You know, I'm always like, I'm inside you. I can never say anything creative or sexy in the bedroom. I can only tell you what's happening at that moment. I'm like, you know? So I talk dirty, I'm like, I'm still inside you. It's awesome. We're having intercourse right now. It's great. Tell her the sex is great, which, by the way, never a sign that you're having great sex. Like, she's going to turn around and be like, are we having a good time fucking right now? Oh, hooray. You know? I was really rooting for you. <laughs> um, part of the reason I'm single, I think, is because I don't have a job. Uh, I gotta stop looking for jobs on Craigslist. Like, have you ever seen those ads on Craigslist and it's like, hey, make 400 bucks eating brownies, you know? <laughs> I'm like the guy who's like, how? <laughs> how do you do it? Who do I give my social security number to? <laughs> I don't, yeah, so I saw this ad, it said, health coach wanted, no certification necessary, 2,000 bucks a month. I'm like, this sounds legitimate. So I applied. <laughs> like, I wrote a cover letter. <laughs> and I get contacted by this company called Herbalife. Now, what Herbalife is, is a multi-level marketing uh, pyramid scheme. 
scheme. <laughs> Which means the way they make money is by signing up assholes like me as distributors <laughs> instead of selling the product which is probably poison. So I end up going to this orientation meeting. There's like 160 people there. They're all fucking excited about nothing. And it's just, and it's very weird and cult-like. And the weirdest part is they had these things called testimonials, where like 60 people line up and they gave them a microphone. And then they talk, they talk about how great herbal life is. Now, at first, the testimonials started out pretty normal, you know? It was like, hey, what's up? I'm Jenny, and I lost 50 pounds on herbal life. I'm going for more. Yeah. Thanks, herbal life. But as the testimonials increased, it just got weirder and more insane. So, like, the next guy was like, What's up? I'm Billy, and before Herbalife, I had type 1 diabetes. <laughs> but Herbalife was all like, get in line, glucose levels. And the next guy was like, what's up? I'm Mark, and before Herbalife, I weighed 400 pounds, I was depressed, and I was dyslexic. <laughs> I used to read shit backwards. <laughs> but now I feel great, and my reading comprehension is amazing. <laughs> do this, but I really wanted to. I really wanted to get in line so I could get that fucking microphone <laughs> and just go up there and be like, hey, what's up? I'm Aaron. And before Herbalife, I was HIV positive. <laughs> but the only thing I'm positive now of is that Herbalife cures AIDS. <laughs> Which is great for all the pussy I'm getting. Hey, I'm Aaron Black. Nice to meet you guys. Alright guys, we're gonna keep the show moving. Next comic coming up to the stage. Uh, very